Brent weather alerts to traffic alerts this afternoon. We've already covered this morning the conjumbledness of the different construction and road maintenance happening across eastern North Carolina. Well, this afternoon we're going to settle in on Craven County and what's happening at the James City exit. We have New Channel 12's Megan Scrano reporting live for us this afternoon. What's traffic looking like? Well, Lexi, I'm here on the pedestrian walkway right above USMD here in James City to show you guys a bird's eye view of what this construction is going to look like as you head on to your midday commute. Maybe you're heading out to lunch. Here is a close up look of what we can see from this pedestrian walkway right now. If you're coming into US 70 eastbound, you're heading to Newport, Moorhead City or further into James City, you're going to need to merge into the left lane as you cross that bridge over into James City. And as you can see, it does cause some congestion as you're coming through. But if you slow down, you let those other people merge in, you should be good to go. But later on in the week, this construction will impact your morning commute and possibly your afternoon commute. It will start as early as 7 a.m. NCDOT says crews can start as early as 7, but they will definitely be started by 8. So if you're headed to work, it's something that you need to consider as you head into James City, Havelock and Moorhead. And again, they will be finished for the day around 3 in the afternoon every day for the rest of the week. Now they are right now resurfacing and milling the roads, but later on in the week they will work on ramps. As you can see here, one day um, each ramp will be closed, but no more than one each day. And again, crews are going to be heading out there as early as 7 a.m. So it's something you need to keep in mind. And as you can see, as more people are headed out to lunch, a little bit of congestion as people come also from downtown New Bern as well, merging into these three lanes here. So stay tuned with us throughout the rest of the day as we keep you updated in the rest of the week, really about this project here in James City and how it could impact your commute for this week and further on in the rest of the summer.